Oh, you've been here for a few days. So, um, Al, what have you been? What have you been up to while you've well, been? Well, my jet lag has left. Has it? Oh, okay. <laughs> good. It's on a plane somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I feel great. I love it here. You know. I, Do you? Oh, I've been to London many times. I performed here in the West End oh, in yeah. the play American Buffalo. Yeah. I love it here. Yeah. Well, so we know I'm, that theatre is a big love of yours. We're oh, going to get yeah. on to that. We've actually got a lot to talk about yeah. uh, with a pair of you yeah. uh, this evening. But shall we start with the well, TV? We'll, yeah, we'll talk so. about Hunters. Um, we've been lucky enough, we've seen a preview because it's on Amazon Prime Video on the 22nd of Feb, isn't it? Mm. And it's, it's inspired by real-life events. It's an intriguing plot. Go on, mm. Logan. You give us a little synopsis, then. Oh, I'm the synopsis guy, all right? <laughs> <laughs> what the show's about. Uh, it's about a group of people. It takes place in 1977. Well, it's, it's usually the script, mm. and, and um, this was a, a great script by uh, David Weil, uh -huh. and uh, he, he, you know, I, I went through the, the same kind of things you go through when you do plays or movies, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where you read it, and then you meet with the writer, you meet with the director, and we talked about it, and uh, I just thought it was very interesting, yeah. the whole idea, and it's the first time for me, so... Mm. I was uh, I was thrilled really that they wanted me. I mean, it's kind of like a, a twenty-hour film in a way, isn't it? You know, because the, the production values are so high. But what was the experience of making it like then, in terms of the difference between making a film and mm. making a series? Mm. You know, was there more or less time for rehearsal, or you know, how, well, how did that days, all work? Uh, these days, there's very little rehearsal in mm -hmm. films. In the old days, when I did films with Lament in the seventies. They, they, he would rehearse three or four weeks. You know, oh, and, really? Yeah. Right. So you were, you know, you were really equipped to go on, and and you even worked before that. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you have four weeks rehearsal going into a, a film. Is is it's it's a, it's a good sturdy foundation for you. Mm. And, mm. Uh, and I was used to that. And along the way, somewhere along the way, something got in front of something, but they don't rehearse much anymore. Mm. Right. It's, it's usually money, money. Yeah, normally, it's usually costs. Yeah. 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 So, so Logan, you had to help guide Al Pacino through this then. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Believe me. No, this is new for me too. I've never done a series before. I mean, the thing is, is that you trip over, uh, you know, the scheduling a bit. So much goes into the pilot. Yeah. Uh, that's where you really have prep time in terms of your production. And, and then, pilot mm, is the first, the first uh, episode. One. First episode. And then... You work on, you know, the second and third episode, and then you start tripping on your schedule, and you're shooting the fourth and the fifth at the same time, and prep is is uh, is non-existent. There's no time, mm. so we try to find moments on the weekends in between takes, uh, setups, and things like that to talk about uh, next week's script and the week after that, and to rewrite it and rehearse mm. it and talk about it and sleep mm. with it, dream about mm. it, and mm. see you what happens. You always dream about always. the things you're doing. Oh, yeah. yeah. That yeah. You Did you dream about the one show last night? <laughs> 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 this is the one show. Oh, this is the one show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, I should have, though. <laughs> <laughs> it would be tonight. Yeah, yeah, it would be tonight. Be tonight. But yeah. there's a really, uh, the thing about this, I, I just may say this for a minute, uh, is yeah. that um, the, the thing that's really valuable about a series that mm. I discovered is that you 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 uh, get to know the people you're playing with because mm. it's five or six months you're doing it yeah. and um, and that you form a company and therefore the relationships are so the actual work is affected by that whereas in other things you do if it's too quick yeah. you don't have time to get to know your cast yeah. mates and yeah sure and I mean we know you as as a method actor anyway so for you to be immersed in this role for that length of time I mean do you because it's it's interesting there's so much energy in the first episode that we've seen mm -hmm. and it drives it and and I mean as far as the characters are concerned do you see them do you see them as good guys as good guys well, you know, every everyone you play, hopefully, you you see as someone that has some redeeming mm. you know, features. Yeah, you know, you know, I played Richard mm. III, you know, from a yes. lot, and I played yeah. all kinds of characters. You know. mm. uh, so you you find aspects of their human struggle or their yeah. humanity. Yeah, you know, yeah, and that's what sort of hopefully is what drives you. Mm. But uh, it's an interesting question and. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's interesting, yeah, that you ask if they're good guys. I, I feel like the center of the series, the real question at the core of this, 
is uh, is a moral one about you know does it take evil to fight evil? Do you have to become a bad guy in order to fight the bad guys effectively? Yeah. And yeah. that's really the the question at the core of the series. And that, what do you that, think, Logan? Uh, it's not about it's, it's not about Come what on. I think. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, uh, it, be, it gets into a much deeper conversation yeah, about what is morality, and and, and yeah. that's mm. tied to spiritual beliefs. It's a whole you know deeper conversation. But the uh, the show explores it uh, beautifully through. Uh, through my character, actually, he's being thrust in the situation where now he's a part of this group and committing. Absolutely, it's uh, you we follow. It's you're the yeah. perspective, really, at that, and, from what we've seen. Yeah, and it's uh, there's an interesting moral conflict there, and um, I, I don't want to give away wh whether or not we answer it or what that is by the end of the season. But check it out, and I think it's, yeah. it's definitely. Well, the film does uh, treat it, and mm -hmm. uh, they do it. it j they go into it and mm. uh, you formulate your own opinion about it because it's yeah. really there. Well, it, it grips you from the first episode. Uh, you can see it. It's Hunters. It's on Amazon Prime Video from February the 21st. But um, uh, it, it was very, uh, very serviceable for me. But also, I came out of a time in the 60s where we had a lot of cafe theater in the village. And we would do plays and 16 performances a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we would pass the hat after each performance. And if you dropped a couple of coins in there and then we'd eat yeah. 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 and that was uh, that was the lifestyle so I came out of that uh, that environment mm -hmm. that experience so mm -hmm. I, it, it did it did me well I think it helped mm -hmm. me a lot but you really you know as you say you really did the groundwork and when you decided that you wanted to become an actor it certainly wasn't for the fame was it it was because mm -hmm. you liked it as a craft well what happens to some people and I've heard it said before, it becomes a way to express yourself. And when it is, when it, when you uh, find yourself using the, the talent God's given you, you know, and you're doing that and you're mm -hmm. feeling sort of at one with yourself, it helps you in your life. Mm -hmm. When you have something you can... Uh, I was in a play once and in, 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 in during the play and I was young and I never knew what I wanted to do, what was I going to do. I, mm -hmm. you know, I felt that uh, I could speak through this character. It was a Strindberg play. Right. And uh, I was, must have been 21. And I knew then at that moment that nothing else really mattered, that the only thing that mattered to me was that I continue to do this because this is what I loved. Mm. And when you're doing, you know, it's like you're a cello. And once you get at that cello and you start to play it, you know, you feel at one with something and you feel like you're expressing something. Yeah, and you're, yeah. You're, so that's why sometimes material you do is very important to that. It serves that because yeah. it's, uh, it's material that you can come away from having learned something and mm. been through something. And uh, it, it's, I would imagine, I say cello because it's like when the great cellist would be playing Bach Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it would be the manifestation of spirit, he would say. Bach was the greatest. So when you play Shakespeare sometimes, it's the opportunity to engage with the, in, in, on this level and learn. And mm -hmm. it's, for me, I feel very lucky. It must be incredible to look at the perspective of, 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 of doing that kind of work when you were really struggling and had nothing and then doing the same plays effectively when you've got all of that success and all of that mm, behind you. Yes, it, it shows you that's where it's at. Mm. The play is the thing, that's yeah. a, as the great Shakespeare said. But, the you play know, is the thing. Logan, mm. you started as well when you were eight and, you know, whether either of you wanted it or not, fame has obviously become a big part of, of both your lives. Mm. And Al, you, you, you really didn't want it, did you? But after The Godfather, it was, you were stratospheric. Well, well it was, a, it was a, a change in lifestyle, you know. Mm. Uh, it, and, and so it takes a certain, uh, I remember uh, Lee Strasberg was mm. the great uh, the method. Uh, uh, method and great acting teacher and Actor, he became an actor in in The Godfather Two. Yes, he played yes. Maya Lansky, yes. and uh, I remember him seeing me and uh, sensing that I was, uh, you know, not uh, fully there. You know, I was going through some troubles with it, and he said, "Darling," he said, in the face, "Darling, you simply have to adjust." Mm -hmm. And I thought, "Gee, 
It's so simple. You have to adjust. Mm. It's easy to say, though. It took a while. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still having adjusted. Oh, come on. But I'm you getting are fully there. adjusted. 